Hey guys, I'm back with coming at you guys with another video. Um, this time I'm doing Pokemon because uh, couldn't figure out what to build and I had a bunch of uh, bright colored parts. Well, kind of bright colored laying around and I decided I was going to build something with them. Um, I do have Pokemon cards and stuff. Um, big fan of Pokemon, like the TV series. Um, okay, so anyway... So, if we go from left to right, you'll see that I have built uh, Lapras, I guess how you pronounce it. It's spelled A-L-A-P-R-A-S. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've done Pokemon stuff. Um, and then I've got uh, Darkrai right here. And he kind of looks like Darkrai and... Um, Cyndaquil, which, it's okay. And then I have an okay vile plume. And then I have a Doduo, which turns into Dotrio. And then a Geodude. Um, and then this is just my trainer avatar that I made. Yes, I did. I took a white stud and I actually sharpied that on. But I'm never going to ever do that again, because all I needed, I needed two of them for, I just made two of them, just so I had two of them. So, um, uh, and then in the very back, I've got a Pokeball. This was, let's see, Nightly News at 9 does a tutorial on a Lego Sphere, and so I copied that. Except I just added the printed Star Wars piece there, and I, uh, I won't show you how I got that to attach all the way around with the two different colors. And that's red, even though it looks orange. That's red. So, um, I guess I'll start with the front row and go forward. Um... So Cyndaquil is, I guess I can kind of show you how the smaller ones are built. So he's one of these with a plate. <sighs> Hang on. There we go. Okay, now it's clean. Black plate. Now I would have, I don't know if they make them in this color. And this was the only one that I had. So he's a black, I guess you could say it's a corner or angle piece. He's one of those. And then use a one by 2 in tan. With a 1 by 2 in this, it's a, like Star Wars Separatist blue on top for the head, attached to a Travis brick. Then there's a 1 by 1 tan with a Travis brick. And then you use two more 1 by 2 in the Separatist blue on either side. And then you just use a Travis brick and you stick a flame piece in the back. And then this goes on at this angle. So that he's got feet. Um, and then vile plume. Now vile plume's okay, and I'm kind of okay with the feet, but not really. I kind of wish they went back a little farther, but it's okay. So you take a one by two or a two by two round plate and then a 4x4 four four round plate and this is in like dark republic maroon red I got this off the samurai mech set from Ninjago and then this uh, yellow piece I can't remember where I got it I want to say it was like a cheap little city set like it was a plane or something I don't remember okay so use those two pieces in this color and then they just connect like that. And then vile plume. You use two two by two plates in dark blay. And you stack those. And then you want to connect that to the bottom of the of the round plates. And that's his head. 
and then use another one of these angle pieces for the feet. Dark blay Travis brick with one by one plates on two sides. And then you take one by two dark blay plates and you put them on put them on like this. And then you put that on like that, so that it looks like that. And then you just take the head and connect it right in the middle like that. So. And then Geodude is not my design. This was like off of, um, I went to like Google Images and put in Lego Pokemon. And I think it's a guy on Flickr who, who was trying to turn it, it's a Kuso project, I think. So I just copied his design. And I think I can still do a tutorial, or no, I won't. But you can, like the picture that he put up, you could tell how it was built, like, really easily. You can eyeball it. Because it had a view of it like this. And so you're looking at the side and how it's built. Although I did change his design. He had... Um... One by one round studs. He had st uh, dark boy studs underneath these G-slopes. But I took those off. So somebody on Flickr. I want to say he did, like, a... He wanted to turn it into a Kuso project. Um, and my avatar is the, um, satchel thing from the Lone Ranger set. Lego City 2013 Police Pants, uh, plain black torso, Pokeball, the, uh, robber hat from the same set. It's like a $7 set that I got the legs and the hat in. And then the head is also from the, um... It's from uh, the Lone Ranger set along with the bag. So, and I thought that was a cool avatar that I could do. Okay, and then Doduo is also um, a copy of somebody on Flickr. Except they made a Doe Trio. And I was going to build a Doe Trio. But then I look at it and I only had two tan hands. So I could only make a Doe Duo. So... And this one, you do have to cut a piece of flex tubing to the right length, or a, um, like a Lego rod. So, start here. And the heads move a lot, so you, it's a one by one with clip attached to the top of a Travis brick. And then you do two battle droid arms that go up. And then you connect the hands onto the ends of the arms like that. And then the stud goes on top of the hands. And then you take two 1 by 2 tan plates. And put them on like this. Oh, and the, head's just the head just attaches to the clip like that. Two plates, because one on the back and one on the front. Now, these should be in dark tan, but I don't have them in dark tan. Um, and the head should also be in dark tan. But this was the closest color I had. And then you take minifigure hands in, gray, in blay and attach them to one by one with clips in blay. And then connect them to more battle droid arms. And you make two of those. And then you take a piece of flex tubing and stick it into the Travis brick. Oops. And what I did was I actually stuck it in and then connected Doduo's legs and then marked it where I was going to cut it instead of just, like, trying to cut it. And you could probably, this is probably about the same length as um, Michael MGF used for his Minecraft spider. I think it might be about the same length. So you might be able to use one of the Magician's Wands from Series... Whatever, Series 1 or whatever. 
the series is. I don't remember exactly. But you might be able to use one of those, although the white would be showing. But I just had flex tubing because I didn't want to have to order parts. So. And these are not my favorite Pokemon. It's just these were the ones that I could build with the parts that I had. So. And then. I'm going to have to say that this is my favorite one right now. So I'm going to actually move all these out of the way because he's kind of big. By the way, Doduo is really fragile though too, like his head. Just so you guys know. Okay, so the big kahuna. Yeah, get it? Because he's a water Pokemon. Okay, so Lapras, I will not do a how-to because this is completely my design. Um, but you can kind of tell. You might be able to eyeball it. The head, you might be able to eyeball. But I don't know. Um, these are actually, most of these parts, like part of the nose and the tail and the fins, are from the Plo Koon Starfighter set. Because that's the only way to get them in blue, I think. And so they're my brother's parts. So I'm negotiating with him to try and have him trade me the parts so and so that I don't have to buy them but if he doesn't trade them to me I'll just go on Bricklink and buy the parts um okay so there is a problem with this design though and that is that this part are the shoulder tassel things let's see if I can find another example um really fast um, oh, okay, so here they are in black. So, they go on a Lego person like this, and they're the shoulder tassels or whatever you call them. I don't know what the exact piece name is. I didn't look it up before this video. Um, but you use the shoulder tassels, and you flip it around backwards like that and connect it. Well, because it's supposed to go around a Lego guy's, I guess, neck, you could say, it's really loose, so it doesn't stay on the stud very well. So... I don't know if you can really see I had to use um there we go you see you can kind of see orange I used um Elmer's sticky tack putty so that it would uh it would connect it and it's sturdy now um now you can probably use that like if you have a poor connection with some parts you could probably use sticky tack putty um, it's a real connection, it's a, like a, a genuine connection that Lego would probably use if they had to. Um, it's just that it wasn't very sturdy, so I just put some sticky tack putty, and I rolled it out so it was really thin, into a long, like, um, like a long string type piece, and then I wrapped it all the way around the stud, and then pressed this on, and it held it fine. Um... So I'll probably just leave that because I know um, that Steven from the Brick Show uses them to hold them onto his wall. Like a normal wall, he just uses them to hold the minifigures up there. And he's, they don't damage the printing because he's taken minifigures off the wall before. Um, so it doesn't damage Legos at all. Um, so I'll probably just leave it. Because I really like this one. This one's my favorite. I actually... Um, I've been collecting Pokemon cards since 2006, so I've been collecting cards for quite a while, and I actually just got a Lapras card, like, this month, and I've never had one before, so that's kind of one of the reasons I made this, because I've always wanted a card, because that was one of the episodes of the TV series I saw a while back, was the one where they wrote on his back or whatever he was in the episode. Um, and he's a really cool Pokemon, so I wanted to build one. Um, and so I got the card and I built one. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I alternated the cheese slopes all the way down his shell. Because he does have the spikes on his shell. Um... And then the horn wasn't hard. So. But. So I guess I'm going to call this video a Pokemon uh, 
review and how to, and then I'll list all the Pokemon in um, in the title. So, um, whoops. Um, so I guess that's it for this video. I'm out.